Rashid Kidwai, what is even the point of doing this long yatra over five months? We don't know who the next president is. We don't know whether it's going to be Rahul Gandhi. In the meantime, the entire party is disintegrating in states. See, in politics or in life of political parties, there are highs and lows. You cannot have either or kind of situation. So, a yatra is there and this kind of disquiet is there. The search for new president is there. Uh, you know, uh, defections in, uh, in Goa are there. But I think it is little uncharitable to link with Rahul Gandhi's Bharat uh, Jodo Yatra to this what's happening in Goa. Because remember, in Goa, uh, when in 2021-22 uh, time when elections were being held, a lot of people had left Congress and many of them uh, came back. The Congress has a certain vote bank there. Even last time, Assembly election, when they had performed well, I think they got around 17 seats, many had left. But in again in you know in 2022 they got uh, 12 seats and now of course many of the many of the of the names that you see those who have left they are habitual party hoppers they've been changing. That from being BJP true, Rashid Kidwai, to... I don't deny that that is true as far as Goan politics is concerned. But shouldn't the party's first business be that you don't let this happen, whether it's Goa or anywhere else? And I wish I could say that this is the story for the Congress party only in Goa, but we know that that's not the case. Yeah, but this is this happened. You see, the party when it goes through, uh, you know, a lean patch, actually it causes split. It happened in '77. It happened in 1969. But in, it happened in 1996. Uh, several Congress breakaway groups were formed. But it didn't happen. Uh, very intriguingly, in 2004, from 2014 onwards, when Congress has been losing and performing badly, this kind of uh, you know periodical defections is actually uh, making Congress bleed white. And this is far more embarrassing than one, you know, big split that Indira Gandhi had faced when two thirds of the Congress had gone uh, away from yeah. her in Rashid Kidwai, you almost so make it sound like this is inevitable. Congress. But is it so? I mean, yes, you're right. Parties go through ups and downs. Derek Almeida, let me come to you on that. Yes, there are ups and downs. There are ebbs and flows, especially in politics as in life. But the problem with the Congress party is that it doesn't look like the leadership is concerned with what are seemingly more real issues than the issues of quote unquote uniting India over a five month long yatra and then to say, suffer such embarrassments. How does that yatra then help? Because the message going out, the message going out to the larger public is, the message going out to the larger public is that, you know, you may say what you want to say in your yatras, but it's not working as far as your own house is concerned. Derek. Uh, I don't think you can restrict this argument to the Congress alone in Goa. You see, mm. uh, the Congress has 11 MLAs, so naturally it's it's the party that uh, the BJP would uh, try to split. But if there were other political parties that had, you know, four four members or five members, they would have fallen victim to this split as well. Mm. So it is not it is not restricted to the Congress. I mean, in the previous assembly, the the MGP split. You see the so and two members went over to the BJP. So this is going to happen as long as you have three members, four members, or five members in 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 your party and you're in the opposition, you will become a target. So it's not restricted to Congress alone. It's just going politics is like this, you know, uh, where uh, you split a party, you go to the other side. You come back to any side you want because there is no ideological difference between the BJP and the Congress and everybody else in, in Goa at the moment. And this is this is uh, the result of splits that started in the 90s and continued. We had about 10 years of quite stable governments like that, but now it's happening again. So it's it's a it's a Goa phenomenon more than a Congress phenomenon. Okay.